Now, good morning. You're welcome to the showbiz segment right here on the AM show. Now, after 20 years, award-winning background vocalist Nanama has decided to go solo. And in this interview with Joy News, she revealed that at some point in her life, she was discouraged by some radio presenters when she decided to be a solo musician. A musician. Now, she speaks more on that and on her new release, Konongo Kaya, 23 years later. First hit that I did that everybody got to know Nanama was with Lord Kenya. Ododie wa komem. Ododie wa komem. So do mi abwe wu kwem. Ododie wa komem. So do mi abwe wu kwem. Ododie wa komem ti mema obi nse wa dri. Then I did novel in Kitia. Yes, ya. Ododie wa do. Or die, muye do, or die, menta say. I did Philippa Beffy. Mojana casa, I'm a made me home. Mojana casa, I'm a meso ma sebino. At that time, I was doing works like back and forth all the time. I'm always in the studio every day working. And you hear a couple of your colleagues would be like, oh, pray, do, do. you rush too much and all that. So, um, young girl growing up, you want to work, you know, you want to put food on the table. So I was like, okay, let me just do what everybody... So you, so you wanted recognition, exactly. but because of what people were saying. Exactly, exactly. So, as I said, you, you, you were not courageous, and I was not courageous enough to stand on my feet and say, hey, I want this to happen. You, you are always being discouraged, you know. Blacks are always like that. You, they would want to... The fact that you are even young and you, are, you want to put certain things in, in, in place. They are like, oh, you rush too much. So I, I was just doing what everybody was doing. You go to the studio, uh, you charge something small. Then it was like fun. Um, I was hoping to be recognized as a background vocalist one, um, to do my own thing as a solo artist. I remember um, I recorded a couple of her life songs and um, some presenters would be like, can you, can you challenge the men? Because uh, no woman survives in the her life. Uh, terrain. They I'm actually like, released songs. Yes, I have I a have couple of her life songs. And I was like, what is, why, why can't I be a her life musician? I mean, that is me. So um, they were like, no. See, at a point I was like, okay, let me continue being a background vocalist. Because I wasn't getting the push. And... The, yeah, the, the discouragement was okay. there. You mentioned that you released a couple of songs, uh, but uh, you got discouraged by some radio presenters who were saying that you should continue. That pushed you to, you know, ignore your songs and then continue uh, singing at the background. But now you're coming solo. Yes. So tell us why you got discouraged at one point and what has pushed you, what has encouraged you to come up and then sing on your own. Um, when I started this advocacy about background vocalists to be recognized and a uh, couple of uh, uh, bloggers and graphic showbiz, people started writing stories about it. The comments that were coming were too much. You have the voice, why don't you do your own thing if they are not recognizing you? Their comments were like, do your own thing. Enough is enough. Leave that background thing and do your own thing. So I said, okay. Because um, the more you hear uh, fans behind you, those who have not even seen you before, saying these things, encouraging you, it means that uh, people know your worth. So I was like, okay. Let me just test the waters and see if it's going to work. And it has worked. It has worked. <laughs> so tell us about your new release. Tell us more about it. Uh, um, I, my new release is going on well. I released it on the 18th of last month. And I remember when even it wasn't out yet, radio presenters were eager to play. Jerry Forson was like, no, I'm not waiting for that 18th. I want to start playing it on Atom yeah. FM. So um, it was nice working with uh, Roland Roro, who produced the song, and then my manager writing it for me and all that. I didn't know it would work well like this, but uh, I think the presenters were tired of me. You know, enough is enough. Yeah. Uh, we are tired of Nanama. I, I remember at, at, at one point, quite... Uh, Master Richard would be like, you don't call me if you're not out with your own song. 
<laughs> yeah, what's the title of the song? And what was the story behind it? What what's the story behind this new release after so many years? Um Konongo Kaya. Um uh I had no idea my manager was writing songs like lyrically it was like that. But I remember last week I was talking to him, I was like, ah, why those words? Why those lyrics? He said, no, I, I took a couple of them from your life. And then, you know, because uh, it's been ups and downs. and uh, But I've moved on. So I think that is where the story about that song is about me personally. Because that is what he told me, that he intentionally wrote a song personally about my life. And looking at it, yes, it speaks about me. So it's about uh, you... You're not appreciating what you have, but then you also not let the person go because I said we need, you know, you are on so I was also more so that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that is that is how the song is, and it's it's a nice storyline. So that was uh, background vocalist Nanama on her decision to go solo after 23 years in the music industry. And there's more showbiz at midday with Becky. Don't miss out on that. My name is Kadi. Yes, Kadi, thank you very much. Uh, Kadi for show business uh, this morning. And really, that will be it for the AM show this Friday. Thank you so much for your company.